Ever wondered how a camera lens works? Well, a camera obscura is what we're going to make today. And we're going to make it out of a Pringles can. Now, the first thing you need to do is obviously empty the contents of the Pringles can. Now, the things we do for science, once we've eaten them, please clean out the Pringles can with a cloth and get rid of all that oily kind of chip mess. Next, we're going to measure six centimeters from the bottom. Draw a line around and then cut the Pringles can exactly at that line. This is very important for the lens to actually work. Once you've cut it, you've got two separate pieces. The longer piece is now what we're going to trace and use baking paper and trace a circle around the can. Once you trace out the circle, cut it out very carefully. And you know the top of the Pringles can? You just place it in, it almost becomes like a screen. And that's where the image is gonna be projected on. And you can almost comfortably just edge it around so it's nice and clean and pop it on the end of the can. It fits perfectly. You may have to trim it and fiddle around, but if you put it back in the can how it's originally made, you will have a beautiful clear screen that the image will be projected onto. Next, we need to make the pinhole lens. So grab a pin and in the middle of the can, just make a hole. It's pretty simple. <laughs> it feels quite good when you get it done. Next, we are going to put the can so you've got the screen in the middle see there and the pinhole is right at the bottom so you're almost inverting the top of the can because you need that six centimeters from the hole to the screen i would then cover it in alfoil to block all light because as we know camera obscura stands latin for dark chamber so we want to reflect all light around it and so a Really cheap alfoil will be perfect to reflect that light. I would then trim the edges and I just put some tape around where your eye is going to view. So just clean that once you've trimmed the edges and pop that tape around to make it nice when it sits on your eye for viewing. It's just a nice little touch. You don't have to, but I like to. Let's see if it works. Okay, so I'm looking straight at my window in my living room and we just pop it over there and See the upside down image? That's the camera obscura working, the dark chamber. And you can see that it's upside down. So enjoy, it's good fun, and see you next time for something else. Bye.